My name is Laura Batalero. I'm a graphic designer from here in Dallas, Texas, and I'm very excited to be here at Ignite to talk to everyone about going green with your graphic design projects. Um, all right, there it goes. Creating ways for people to solve their own problems isn't just an opportunity in 2010, it's an obligation. The problem that I am challenged to solve as a graphic designer is how to save print media. With the rise of web and interactive, print has been labeled as a dying media. Some of the perceptions of print design is that it's expensive because of the added material cost, that it's not as effective as web design, and that it's not an eco-friendly practice because of the resources for production. But print is not dead, it has evolved. By creating eco-friendly practices and creating awareness, we can really change the media for the better. By making the most of resources, we can not only save businesses money, but we can also save the planet. So how I put down, bleh, sorry, I put a rundown of five ideas to inspire you to go green on your next graphic design project. These ideas will not only, oh, I am so sorry. I've completely lost my train of thought, but I have five ideas and here they go. <laughs> Idea one is to reuse existing materials. Uh, the saying is that one person's trash is another person's treasure. Uh, it's also a great opportunity to go dumpster diving, go find something and use it for free and design something. This is a great example I actually found. Um, I tried it out myself but got the idea from a studio in Brooklyn called Daily Crafting. They actually made business cards out of a cereal box. So what you do is you just get the cereal box, cut it down to sheet size, run it through an inkjet printer, cut them up, hand them out, and you're good to go. It's not only sustainable, but only takes about 10 minutes to put them together and it's pretty much free. And I talk too fast now. <laughs> um, idea number two is to find multiple purposes for print materials. Um, I am not doing good. I apologize to everyone. Jeez. So basically, finding multiple purposes is finding a function for your print materials. Um, as you can see, disposable print materials are not only wasteful, but they're also ineffective. By finding a function for your print materials, you're not only making sure that your message is actually delivered, but you're actually also ensuring that your materials are not thrown away. This is a great example of exactly what I'm talking about from a business in London called The Laundry. Uh, that image to the left is actually their direct mail piece, which also doubles as the bag, and the bag actually doubles as advertisement and awareness for the program. Idea number three is to do more with less. This is a, um, I have a lot of my clients that come to me that whenever they're doing print, they really want to just cram as much information in there and get as much for their money as humanly possible, which is understandable, but not always the best way to go. It's kind of like those huge cartons of laundry detergent that because it's big and it's like there's a lot of volume that somehow it's equaling value, but really it's just watered down soap. It's kind of the same principle for a print design that when you have, you know, watering down your information to fill up a letter size flyer isn't really gonna effectively deliver your message when you can say what you need to say in two sentences, fit it on a four by six card and actually be more effective in your marketing efforts and re utilize your resources better. Idea number four is to print with eco-friendly materials. This is actually the easiest way to go green because it doesn't limit your design and it doesn't affect your end product. You just have to use something that's eco-friendly. This is actually a great example I found from Little Fury that they printed. It's a really smart design. It's very eye-catching, but it's 100% recyclable. And it's also completely com um, decomposable so that it won't live in a landfill forever like normal pill packs. So idea number five is to reduce waste. This is actually a great opportunity to work with your printer and utilize their expertise to really figure out how to be efficient in your printing and utilize each press sheet to the fullest. A University of Illinois study actually showed that by just adjusting the dimensions on a project by a quarter of an inch, that they were able to save 1,000 press sheets total on the project, which also saved 10,000 gallons of water and $3,000 total on the project. So it's not only good for the environment, it's good for your creative budget. So how can you go green and save green? You can reuse existing materials. You can find multiple purposes for your print materials. You can do more with less. You can use eco-friendly materials and you can reduce waste on your next project. Thank you all very much for the opportunity. <laughs> Please feel free to contact me if you have any questions about green graphic design. Thank you.